Set up your recorder using Easy Setup. The first step would be to disable the Enable Easy Setup next time, so that next time it does not pop up when your recorder is rebooting. First step would be select OK. If you are using the QR code setup, make sure that the obtain an IP address automatically, quote, use DHCP is selected. Obtain DNS automatically using the QR code will not need to be selected. If you are entering a static IP address, please deselect the DHCP and enter your static information inside the address, including your subnet and your gateway and your preferred DNS and your alternate DNS. Your internal Ethernet port to the right shows you your local IP address for your cameras and your subnet. You do have the capabilities of using long line mode or non long line mode. Long line mode will turn on PoE plus on the ports on the back of your recorder. If we select next, you will see the option to do UPnP and also DDNS. By utilizing the UPnP feature, you will forward the port to the external IP address and you can test those ports by hitting the test button and it will show you a clear or valid UPnP. You also have the ability to be able to use a Spico DDNS or a noip.com DDNS. You will enter the server address and the domain name. If we hit next, the easy camera setup will bring up those cameras that are plugged into the PoE ports in the back on the bottom of the screen and they will show online. You do have the capabilities of editing the name from this menu. Any cameras that are residing on your LAN and that you will need to manually add will be in the top of your box here. You can refresh those, select the cameras, and go to Add All. By default, the Continuous Record, Motion Record, and Sensor Record, and AI Record is on by default, utilizing Spico's multiple layers of recording. If you choose to have a different recording mode, you can choose so from the buttons above or you can click the advanced tab and select motion sensor continuous AI or any combination of the three. Next step would be our NAT screen. It is recommended that you use the new NAT 2.0 cloud server. This will allow cloud updates. If you click the no client yet link, it will show you the app for the Android and the app for the Apple. This is the Spico Blue app. If you add a device using that QR code and also using the Spico Blue app, you can do so by scanning this QR code or entering in the QR code number that appears below. The QR code number is unique to your recorder. Lastly, on the easy setup will be the cloud upgrade agree screen. It just tells you that you're enabling the NAT 2.0, which is our cloud service. Finally, we hit OK and we are done with the easy setup process.